guys deluded i'm back again youtube's lucas Torero. yeah man obviously today it's been well yesterday it was friday it's saturday morning now probably like five or just gone 5 p.m i've actually just returned from a function and that and i've went on my social medias like it's friday i've tried to like air social media and take a break from all of them things sorry <coughs> pardon me guys i've tried to take a break from all of them things like i was saying and like just just turn off from all of that because i do believe in this society we pay attention to phones too much but i saw that we sold jao virginia and at this point guys i don't know what to say like i'm i'm feel so many things like i'm not here to say the man was going to be the goalkeeper that played for arsenal portuguese um he just recently won on youth under 19 european championship for those who don't know i'm not here to say a man was going to be world class and he's going to be the best keeper since Ika casillas and all them things but I told you guys, those who've been watching my videos, like I told you guys, like there's a theme, there's a theme developing at this club, like contracts, especially young players, which kind of pees me off. Young players, with a year or so to go, they're being sold. Now he arrived in 2015, I believe. He's a highly rated keeper. He, once upon a time, he actually had trials at Manchester United as a 15 year old. So, so did Jao Felipe, the guy who's doing dirt, well, who did dirt for Portugal's under 19 side. But he's a decent keeper. Again, we bought Leno and, and there's Czech and there's still Ospina on the books and there's still Martinez and technically Macy and Ile are still there. There's a lot of keepers on the books at Arsenal. I believe in Jao Virginia. As recently as a few months ago, if you go on, if you type his name in, he was talking when Wenger was still here about being optimistic about reaching to the first team and playing for Arsenal and how he feels he can, with, with the futures of Czech getting older and things like that, not in so many words, he feels he could have a future here. So to see a few months down the line, it begs a question. To him, I can't fault him for the move because you could say, <clears throat> I'm not going to assume he's going to get into the Everton's immediate first team anytime soon, but I, I root for the guy, I want him to. They've got, what, Stecklenburg, Pickford. I don't know who their other third-choice keeper is. Pardon me, forgive me, Everton fans. But if he deems the pathway is, is clearer there or he can get to the first team under his countryman, Marco Silva, having just won the under-19s championship, he's bound to have paid attention to him. I can't fault Jao Virginia. But from a selfish point of view, Arsenal point of view, it's annoying me. This is where, again, Chelsea quite rightly get criticism for not um, bringing through young players. But this is where you have to take a leaf out of Chelsea's book. Why are these players not tied down? They're going into the last deal years of their deals, months left. We've now been here with all the 2015 lot. Benassia, who quite rightly so is doing dirt at Empoli. And he's, um, I think he, they got, they've been promoted back to Serie A, so we'll keep tabs on him. Daniel Malin got promoted to PSV's first team now. Who else is there? Fortuna's obviously, obviously left. Dragomir's obviously left and announced his move. There's a couple other people from 2015 that arrived in 2015. You're just waiting for Bielik to be sold now and then it's done. I've told you guys time and time again, we keep selling players. Like we, we, we're the farmers who make nice mangoes and things and we never bear the we never get to taste our own crops. Like what is going on? He did have potential to make it to the first team. He was a keeper of genuine potential. We've got a couple other keepers that have genuine potential, but it's a bit of pill to swallow because there's a theme developing at this club now without giving people a real chance. I'm not screaming he should have been in the first team and things like that straight away, but he did have a, a, a good a good opportunity. You saw him in the under um in, in the under 18s FA Youth Cup. Him, probably him, MMO Smith. Vontae Daly Campbell, no disrespect to the players, Saka as well, no disrespect to everyone because um, they all got there and them things, but definitely over one of them games in the two legs in the final against Chelsea. You could say them three were the players that um, that um, left the left the pitch event that could take any 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 um, positives from the game. What, Jao Virginia conceded like seven goals in, at one point or, or whatever collectively, and I'm saying he was one of the better players. Now, I don't know everything about football, clearly, people, but clearly there's something. There's no point gassing the championships because he only played in the final, so he's not the finished article yet, but this is what, what is happening at this club. Why are we not developing players? Yes, I'm happy to see the homegrown. You guys know I'll pick up Maitland Niles and Joe Willock and, and, and Awobi and all these other guys in and around the and Ketia and Nelson and Emil and all these other guys in and around the team, but it's, it's annoying me i don't know what's happening with us in the foreign players like there used to be two things about this club regardless of if we were challenging for championships or not we used to get these young players and they used to become out decent obviously not everyone but they used to come out decent and the second thing is a bit controversial but we actually once upon a time had players that were sought after by the biggest clubs in the world once upon a time and percy nasri says we're at this club i'm not here to bitter any players or sound like i'm attacking stuff but something's going wrong at this club also i have to wonder what did jao virginia possibly him and una Emre speak i mean because um 
Obviously, all the other keepers were in and around in the early weeks of pre-season. Yes, Macy's gone out on loan, but Jao Virginia wasn't there because he was obviously preparing for the championship. So did he have a conversation um, with Une and, and did Une know about him and concede that your future is best elsewhere? Was it just he saw an opportunity and he was enticed and he just did his thing? Either way, for me, for someone that's gone to the in his young age, um, that's doing his thing in the FA Youth Cup, that's gone to the Olympics with his country, that's played at um, a couple of youth tournaments with his country, someone that's come look like he had genuine pedigree to make first team at some degree, it's upsetting because this season you would have thought he would have stayed here. Pardon me, people. Would have stayed here, tried to probably make himself undoubtedly the num un um, first choice under 23 keeper. Possibly get on the bench for a couple of games, possibly start in the Carling Cup, and you never know what can happen in life if, if you take your chances. But credit to him to move for his move to um, in, um, Everton. Sorry, allegedly signed a three year deal for an undisclosed fee, as Arsenal like to say, so it's probably pennies. But it is what it is at this point, and then, yeah, he's just waiting for Bielik to probably get sold now, and it's all done, isn't it? So, yeah, man. Love to the home players that are still here. The good news is there's still Trey Coyle, Amici, um, Saka. There's a collective of very good, hard guys. Obviously, you're seeing what Emil, Emil's on as well in the first team right now. Nelson, don't sleep on Eddie. I know he's not. He scored his goals, but because of the hype, a couple of other people forgetting about him and probably Nelson. There's other, ta there's other talents, but especially the players that were brought here in 2015, people. It's, it does annoy me, man. Like Zhao, Marlon, Dragomir, Fortune, Jeff. None of these guys have really got a chance in the first team. Bielik as well, who, for me, I'm very, I believe in the man, but I'm very pessimistic about his chances. Now I hope to go them wrong, but it is what it is at this point. But yeah, man, guys, deluded, get in the comments, subscribe, and do the rest. I'm out.